is an invasive species known as Japanese knotweed. Um, people originally brought it into the country for erosion control. They also f they found later that it spreads along the banks of rivers pretty quickly, and there's actually no benefit uh, for the native wildlife. And it normally takes over uh, soil that would be populated by native species. Uh, Japanese knotwood can be identified by the fact that, for one, it looks almost exactly like bamboo, and it has a usually a large spade-shaped le uh, leaf. Uh, and as you can see, this area we're in at Pringle Creek Community, it was about three or four months since we were out here last, and we demolished this to the ground. We took everything out, and it's already growing back very rapidly, and it's just choking out every other plant species there is. So the Japanese knotweed, uh, to remove it, you have to be a licensed uh, person, uh, and it takes a special herbicide. And also the problem with it, if you try to manually remove it, the roots, actually almost any part of the plant, if you don't like properly dispose of it, it'll regrow into the ground and it's just sprout wherever you tossed it. Uh, so it's a very pesky uh, weed.